بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. So Islam calls us to good. Islam calls us to everything good, and it prohibits us or encourages us to stay away from everything bad. Islam calls us to what? What does it call us to? Islam. What does Islam call us to? You weren't listening. Pay attention. Huh? Islam calls you to bad? Islam, what does Islam call you to? Huh? It calls you to everything good. And Islam prohibits, it, it, t- it tells us not to do. Allah tells us not to, and the Prophet ﷺ tells us not to, and the companions of the Prophet ﷺ told us not to do the bad things. And that's what the scholars tell us as well. So, Islam calls us to good and tells us to stay away from bad. And in a hadith, here's a hadith of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Qal, Qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Alaykum bi sidq, fa inna sidqa yahdi ila al-bir. Wa inna al-bir yahdi ila al-jannah. Wa maaz yazara rajulu. يُصَدُّقُ وَيَتَهَرَّ الصِّدْقِ حَتَّى يُكْتَبَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ صَدِيقًا وَإِيَّاكُمْ الْكَذِبِ فَإِنَّ الْكَذِبَ يَهْدِي لِلْفُجُورِ وَإِنَّ الْفُجُورَ يَهْدِي لِلنَّارِ وَمَا يَزَالُ رَجُلٌ يَكْذِبُ وَيَتَهَرَّ الْكَذِبِ حَتَّى يُكْتَبَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ كَذَّابًا this hadith was from is in Bukhari and Muslim. It's collected in which books? Bukhari and Muslim. And this is the hadith of, uh, uh, of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And may Allah be pleased with all the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, قَالَ قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said he said, it is upon you truth. You have to speak the truth. Speak the truth. Tell the truth. Do not lie. Because the truth guides you to piety, piety or goodness. Speak the truth. It leads to good. To goodness. The truth leads to? What does it lead to? Goodness. So when you speak the truth, it's good. Don't don't be afraid of the truth. Uh, because a sin had to so then a person and, and also I'm sorry, when the bitter you have the agenda. And goodness, goodness, doing good leads to paradise. We all want to go to paradise. Goodness leads to Jannah. So these three things, they're connected. Speak the truth because it leads to goodness and goodness leads to paradise. It leads to Jannah. Then the Prophet wasallam said, and that a person, a man or a person, will continue to tell the truth until Allah writes that that person is a very truthful person, very trustworthy and truthful. So the more you tell the truth and do good, Allah will write down that you are a person of good. Allah will write down that you are a person of good. The angels will mention you as someone good, not as a liar. Here's then the Prophet said, What will Kevin and beware of lying. Do not lie. Don't lie to your parents. Do not lie to, to, to people. Okay, lying is very bad. It's a major sin. It's a major sin. Is lying good? No. Of course not. The Prophet said, Iyakum. And when the Prophet said, Iyakum, for something, that means you have to stay, play, uh, pay very special attention. You have to be very weary that he's telling you something serious that you better not do it. He said, and beware of Kevin, of lying. Stay away from lying. 
They look kind of left in with the jewel. This is the opposite of this. Lying leads to evil. Evil stuff. Lying is evil. It's a major sin. Allah hates it. So lying leads to evil. And lying leads to evil, and evil leads to hell, to the hellfire. May Allah protect us all from the hellfire. And then the Prophet said, So that uh, evil leads to the hellfire. So when you lie, it's evil. And evil leads to the hellfire. Evil will get you in the hellfire. <coughs> and then the Prophet said that a man will continue to lie until a law he will be written uh, he will be written to uh, or a law will write that that person is a liar. The person who lies all the time, they say, no, I didn't do that. No, I didn't do that. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. Are you going to do that? No, I'm not going to. You know, they say they're going to do it, and then they don't do it. Lying is bad, and bad leads to the hellfire. Does anybody in this room want to go to the hellfire? No. Maybe just for a little bit. No. Or maybe a day or two? No. A month, a year? No. Okay, the hellfire is severe. If you've ever been burned in this dunya, that's nothing compared to the hellfire. Just a little burn. How many, uh, has anybody burned themselves on the stove or anything? Yes. Okay, it hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. And it, it leaves a scar for a while. The hellfire is so much, the hellfire, all of your skin will get burned off and it will be replaced with a new skin. And then it will burn off and a new skin. And burn off and a new skin. All of your skin. That's, that's horrible. If you've ever seen somebody who has major burns, you, you will understand that's, that's only a little bit of what the hellfire is going to be like. That's nothing compared to the hellfire. So it's severe. It's a severe punishment for the person who lies. Do not lie. Especially do not lie to your parents. And this hadith was collected in Bukhari and Muslim. So what we learn from this hadith, and I think it's already pretty clear, is that as we mentioned, that we have to speak the truth, because by speaking the truth, it leads to goodness. Speaking the truth is good. And goodness leads to Jannah. Okay? By doing good deeds. And of course, first and foremost, more importantly, is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can get to paradise. But lying is the exact opposite. Lying leads to evil, and which leads to the hellfire. Also, lying, <coughs> lying is one of the characteristics of the hypocrites. Munafiqun. You know Surah Al-Munafiqun. That Allah speaks about the hypocrites. Those people who lie. And then they, they tell tales and the people think that they are, they are good, but really their, 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 their actions and their their uh, speech are lies because inside they don't believe. That is one of the biggest types of, of, uh, of lying. Is a person who is a hypocrite who lies. They say, yes, I believe in Allah. I believe in the Prophet Sallallahu but they really don't believe in their heart. Even they go to the masjid, some of them. They pray. Some of them, they fast Ramadan. They pray Jumu'ah. They do all the things that we see, but inside they hate Islam. And they hate the Muslims. A'udhu billah min thalika. So, and their key trait is what? Is lying. That's what they do. They lie to a law. They try to law. Try, try to lie to a law. They lie to the Muslims. And they even lie to themselves. They try to trick a law, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Baqarah. What does Allah say? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says,
وما هم بمؤمنين ومن الناس من يقول آمنا بالله وباليوم الآخر وما هم بمؤمنين that's, that's the point there are some people ومن الناس من يقول آمنا بالله they say that they believe in Allah but they're not believers وما هم بمؤمنين and they're not believers they say it that means what are they doing? they're lying then Allah says يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَالَّذِينَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَا يَخْدَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسِهِمْ وَمَا يَشْعُرُونَ Allah says there, because He's talking about the Munafiqeen, those hypocrites that lie, He's saying that they try to deceive Allah. But Allah lets them deceive themselves. They only deceive themselves. And they don't even realize it. And they try to deceive and lie to the believers. And they only lie and deceive themselves. And they don't even realize it. So the shahid here, the most important thing is we don't lie. We speak the truth. Because the truth leads to goodness which leads to paradise. We don't lie. Why don't we lie, sinner? Because if you lie, you're going to hell. Okay, because you, if you lie, you, it's going to lead you to the hellfire. Because it, it leads to evil. It leads to bad, which takes you to hell. I will be lying in that again. None of us want to go to hell. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.